Hi friends, my name is Shalis. I'm from Paraguide.com, and today we're gonna see how we're gonna run the business rules in an application name as Rules with the help of the decision table. So let's first first try to understand what is Rules. Rules is a business logic integration platform. It is written in Java language. It is an open source project backed by JBoss and Red Hat. It uses a read pattern matching algorithm. We won't go into details of that in this video, but it uses read pattern matching algorithm to uh, to make different rules and finally combine them and produce a result. So what are rule? What is basically a rule? Rule are just some condition of when and then. So in the when we write the condition based upon which we check if a rule has to be executed or not. And in the then we take the desired action. There are some kind of syntax that we need to follow when we are writing the rules. Like suppose if we have an account uh, class and balance is a type, integer type in that account, this is how we can check the balance. And similarly for uh, customer in the customer class for the name type. We need to also declare the variables in our rules for which we need to provide the condition or take the action. So the variables are declared using a uh, dollar symbol. Rules works with all of the Java types and even enums. So what is an exactly decision table? Rules support managing rules in a spreadsheet format. The for our format supported are Excel and CSV. Each row in a decision table is a rule and each column in that row is either a condition or an action. A condition is a when and action is a then. So this is how the spreadsheet uh, works. It looks for the rule table keyword and after that it checks each row for actually the, a rule. The rule set keyword serves for the rule package. The keywords condition and action indicate that the data in columns below are either the LHS or the RHS part of the rule. Similarly like when and then. So These are some of the keywords that are there in a the decision table. So let me show you a decision table that we have made. So this is a sample decision table. So here you can, you can see the rule table keyword. So after this here you can see the uh, the uh, the rules will start uh, checking the rules from here. So here we are giving the name of different type of rules. This column header describes whether it's an condition. Here describes whether it's an action. And here where they are declaring the object. And then here we are uh, giving the conditions like the type should be equal to what individual or business salary can be greater than one value and less than the other value. So here dollar one corresponding to the first value before the comma and dollar two corresponding to the second value after the comma. Same for the age. Coming back to the file. So these are the uh, key set rule set the cell to the right to the, the cell to the right and then the rule set name. And these are some of the keywords in the decision table. So now we are actually gonna take a take a life problem. So like we have income tax rules. Like this is the income tax left for individual taxpayers for below the, uh, 60 years old. So up to 2,000 uh, 2 we don't have no tax. Between 2 lakh 50,000 5 lakh we have 5 percent of tax and such like that. And of that we have 3 percent of cess. So now we will see this problem and we will write the rules using the decision table. So now for all these rules as we have told this is a decision table that we have written. So here the rule set which see in which package like the Java package the rule would run. So ideally all the rules should be run in a single package. Here we have imported the class employee detail where we want and uh, upon which we are going to put some condition and take the actions. Notes are just the notes for us to see like why we have written this rule file. Rule table is the is the where the path is the uh, where the rules will st again start seeing the rule object. Here there are different conditions. These three columns are condition and an action. Remember there is an only single object for all these three conditions. Here type, salary and age. So these three are actually the fields in an employee detail object. As you can see type, age and salary are all the fields in an employee, de uh, employee detail object. This is an object we defined on which we are checking the conditions and on which we are putting some uh, values.
so using the decision table in condition we have type uh, salary and age so these are the thing and action we are setting the text percentage like in which slab the employee uh, what is the text percentage according to the slab then what is the previous uh, slab calculated text and in what and uh, from what range uh, do we need to calculate the text so let's see the program so we have taken an example where we have seen that an employee is actually an individual who is an age of 26 salary of 20 lakhs and we have set the education status is 3 as it is constant for all the rules so as you can see in the rule file he will come in either of these four rules individual below 60 years as his age is 26 down his income is 20 lakhs then it is between this bracket uh, just a point to be made this 999 is actually taking a uh, default value long for the highest number of salary possible as the rule as the rule says it should be above 10 lakhs above 10 lakhs so i have taken a default value there coming back to the decision table here his age is 26 it will lie between this bracket so the tax slab should be 30 already we have calculated for the previous slabs the income tax is 1 lakh 12,500 rupees and we need to calculate the income tax in this bracket after 10 lakh rupees so let's try to run the program as you can see the calculated tax as a previous slab is 1 lakh 12,500 rupees slab tax percentage is coming as 30 income tax due is coming 4 lakh 12,500 rupees additional size and total income tax come to be 4 lakh 24,875 rupees so this is how uh, we can see the decision table we can just change any of the condition on our model object and run, run that through this rule file so it will take the tax automatically and how does the decision table work internally it is actually converted into a DRL file which is like this this is the same DRL file here the package is coming from the uh, the rule set and here this is the import statement and these are all the rules which we have written so this is how it is internally converted and this is uh, understood by Java using the rules application so what is the benefit of using a decision table here non business users can go and actually change the rules uh, just you just need to change the column like I have changed the rule and this is coming the rules modified file if you can see here I have made for the text percentage at 35 so I will make a small change in the code and I will try to use a rule modified uh, decision table and let's see if it takes up the the modified value So I have uh, written the program to actually take the rules modified decision table instead of the rules table. Let me run the program. As you can see, as we have taken the new decision table, we have uh, taken the slab text percentage as 35 and now the values are updated accordingly. So that is this is the benefit of using a decision table once we are written all the rules all we need to go is we can change the condition here and we can uh, we can update the values here so it will uh, automatically with the automatically take without any code change thank you